Hi, second grade. Uh, we're going to read a story today called Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. This is the story we're going to read today. Um, it was written by Mem Fox. If it was written by Mem Fox, that means she's the author. She's the one who wrote the book. And it was illustrated by Julie Vivas. Um, illustrated means she's the one who drew the pictures in the book. Um, so she's the illustrator. Let's read a little bit more about Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. There was once a small boy called Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge, and what's more, he wasn't very old either. His house was next door to an old people's home, and he knew all of the people who lived there. There he is. He liked Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. He listened to Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. He played with Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. He ran errands for Miss Mitchell, who walked with a, with a wooden stick. And he admired Mr. Drisdale, who had a voice like a giant. But his favorite person of all was Miss Nancy Allison Delacorte Cooper because she had four names just like he did. He called her Miss Nancy and told her all his secrets. One day, Wilfred Gordon told he heard his mother and father talking about Miss Nancy. Poor old thing, said his mother. Why poor old thing, asked Wilfred Gordon. Because she's lost her memory, said his father. Isn't that surprising, said his mother. After all, she is 96. What's a memory, asked Wilfred Gordon. He was always asking questions. It's something you remember, said his father. But Wilfred Gordon wanted to know more, so he called on Miss Jordan, who played the organ. What's a memory? she asked. Something warm, my child. Something warm, she said. He called on Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. What's a memory? he asked. Something from long ago, my lad, something from long ago. He called on Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. What's a memory? he asked. Something that makes you cry, my boy. Something that makes you cry. He called on Mrs. Mitchell, who always walked with a wooden stick. What's a memory? he asked. Something that makes you laugh, my darling. Something that makes you laugh. He called on Mr. Drisdale, who had a voice like a giant. What's a memory? he asked. Something as precious as gold, young man. Something as precious as gold. So Wilfred Gordon went home, and he went home again to look for memories for Miss Nancy because they said that she had lost her own. He looked for the shoebox of shells that he found long ago last summer, and he put them gently in a basket. He found the puppet on strings, which always made everyone laugh, and he put those in the basket, too. He remembered with sadness the medal which his grandfather had given him, and he placed it gently in the box next to the shells. Next, he found his football, which was as precious as gold. And last of all, on his way to Miss Nancy's, he went to the hen house and took out a fresh, warm egg 
from under the hen. Then Wilfred Gordon called on Miss Nancy and gave her each thing one by one. What a dear, strange child to bring me all of these wonderful things, thought Miss Nancy. And then she started to remember. She held the warm egg and told Wilfred Gordon about the tiny speckled blue eggs that she had once found in a bird's nest in her aunt's garden. She put the shell to her ear and she remembered going to the beach by tram a long time ago and how hot she had felt in her button-up boots. She touched the metal and talked sadly of the big brother she had loved who had gone to the war and never returned. She smiled at the puppet on strings and remembered the one she had shown to her sister and how she had laughed with her mouth super full of porridge. She bounced the football to Wilfred Gordon and remembered the day, she remembered the day that she had met him and all of the secrets that they told. And the two of them smiled and smiled because Miss Nancy's memory had been found again by a small boy who wasn't very old either. And that's the end of Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge.